So when do you write me my check? So let's take a look at what the values are of some of these materials. Because as you said, there's not unobtainium on there. There are things that we know that we dig out of the earth all the time. That's right. So we could look at these metal, uh, meet, uh, nickel iron meteorites we find on the Earth's surface. Yep. And they're probably the same composition as these asteroids up in space. And we can break them down and measure yep. what they're made out of. And it's basically 90% iron, 10% nickel, or 9% nickel. And, and then, then a trace amount of a million other things. So majority iron and nickel and a few other, other things. But yep. I guess what we care about really is how much per kilogram that is. Yep. So if you've got one kilogram of this metal iron meteorite stuff, it's got 900 grams of iron, which, and iron, I mean, these market prices are jumping up and down all the time. So yeah. these, uh, these figures may be out of date by now, but it gives you a rough idea. Yeah. Um, it's about 40 cents per kilogram at the time the slide was calculated. Um, and that meant you got a whopping 36 cents for your... <laughs> that doesn't seem like a lot, Paul. The nickel, there's less of it. It's only 9%, but it's worth a lot more. It's $11 per kilo, so that's actually worth nearly a dollar. Yeah. That's worth a lot more. But then it's some of these tracings. Like there's five grams of cobalt. Not yeah. very much, but cobalt is $62 a exactly. kilogram. So that's 31 cents, about as much as the iron. But the real... Iridium, yeah. Iridium and platinum and other rare elements like that, they're, the, they're tiny amounts, only micrograms. Yeah. But it's still a lot more than you find anywhere on Earth. So, how, so I guess this is the interesting thing, right? It's looking at what is the price per gram we can get. But how do we get more grams of this? I guess yeah. that's going to be the So if you add it all up, it turns out that it probably comes to about $2.50 a kilogram. That's not that, that's that's not that not much. That's not that exciting, really. <laughs> However, there's a lot of kilograms out there. Yes. So let's take a 16 Psyche, the largest me uh, metal-type asteroid, and one which a NASA probe is going to be launched to explore in the fairly near future. That's right. Hopefully later this year at the time of filming. Yes. And they estimate the mass of this is about 2 by 10 to the 19 kilograms. So that, that's a lot. In fact, you have to use it in scientific notation. <laughs> it shows how big it is. So here's the sum. It's only $2.50 a kilogram, but there's an awful lot of kilograms. So that's an so awful lot of... Dollars. So 5 by 10 to the 19 dollars. Now that's a meaninglessly large number. Yeah, yeah. But to put it in perspective, the market capitalization of every company and every stock market in every country on Earth is about 10 to the 14 dollars. So this is essentially how much money the Earth has, if you were to think so about it. So that means it. you could buy, if you get this back to Earth and sell it at market prices, of course if you got that back it would trash the price. Yeah. Uh, that would be enough to buy every company on Earth 500,000 times. Woohoo! So this is what's getting people's attention, right? Have I got your attention now? I, I'm, I'm sold. Where do, yeah. where do we send our probe? Yes, so the amount of money out here is truly mind-blowing. Even if you don't care about the money, just in terms of the raw materials. Yeah, it's, it's... I mean, people think you're going to run out of raw materials on Earth, but just the iron in 16 Psyche is enough to supply the current rate of construction of the world for 10 million years. And things like nickel is obviously used in batteries and re renewable energy as well, platinum and electronics, you name it. So the amount of resources out there is just mind-blowing. And if you could get it down to Earth at a budget, there's not much per kilogram, but there are just so many kilograms out there, it's actually money that beggars belief. Interested? Yes? I'm speechless.